just arrived at the Slidell Supercharger just outside New Orleans. Um, let's see how we did about energy efficiency in that last leg. Um, past 30 miles, that's actually pretty good. 314 watt hours per mile. And our trip, we used 336 watt hours per mile for a total of 37.9 kilowatts to go 112.8 miles. Um, we're due to charge for 15 minutes um, at this supercharger. Or 10 minutes, actually. 10 minutes um, to continue on to Baton Rouge. Because um, we don't want to try to get there with only 2%. So I'm going to charge up and uh, we'll be on our way. So I just got to Baton Rouge uh, Supercharger with 21% left. Um, which is actually right on with Tesla's estimate uh, when we had left uh, the previous supercharger. Um, the last 30 miles, we did 300 watt, 301 watt hours per mile, which is actually great, especially considering it's kind of windy and it was raining. Um, and so that's good. And since the last charge, we used an average of 333, so we went 92.4 miles on 30.7 kilowatts. Um, 333, that shakes out to 3 miles per kilowatt, so right where you'd expect. Um, and not bad considering uh, the conditions outside. So it looks like we're just about done charging. Uh, estimated charge time to... Oh, there we go. We have enough uh, to continue our trip. So, um, we're going to Lake Charles. We will get there with 18%. According to Tesla, we have 76% battery. Um, so let's go and uh, let's see if we make it and, and how much juice we actually use getting there. Uh, we, it's 131 miles and it'll take us about two hours to do the drive. Hello darkness, my old friend. So, we are at Lake Charles. We had a warning that said that if we leave the battery like this in the cold, which it is cold, it's 56 degrees, um, we may get stuck. Um, that, that, that's only if you get let it get too cold and, and like leave it overnight, which we're, we're not going to do because we're going to charge up. So, let's see how we did. Um, we arrived with 14%. Um, let's see, 342 watt hours per mile over the last 30 miles, and we use 339 watt hours per mile over, since the last time we charged, we used 45 kilowatts, 45.3, 
and we traveled a distance of 133.8 miles. This is the, the last supercharger stop that I need to make. Um, let me figure out, um, here, navigate, let me figure out how much, how long we'll need to charge here, because there's, there's another charger here, channel view, actually, we'll, we'll stop at channel view, it'll, okay, so we will get, we will have to charge for 40 minutes, which I think it's actually going to be less than that, um, and then when we get to channel view, um, we'll see how much we need to charge. Probably not much at all once we get to channel view, maybe a, a few minutes. Okay, so I just got notification that I have enough charge to get going. Uh, we will get to channel view, which is just at, at the edge of Houston with 16%. So let's get going. So I've arrived at my destination. Um, I skipped the channel view supercharger because I, I figured that I had enough uh, to make it, and and I did. Um, I arrived with 15% left. So the whole trip ended up taking us a total of eight hours and 50 minutes from when we left Mobile, Alabama, until we arrived in Houston. Uh, that was 470.1 miles. Um, we used 156.2 kilowatts to travel that far. And the average efficiency across the entire trip was 332 watt hours per mile. Now that we finished our trip, uh, let's do a comparison between the Tesla Model S and a competitive gas car. Um, for this comparison, I'm going to use a BMW 550i 2013, which is the same year as the Tesla. Uh, it's a 20... 2013 Tesla P85 and so I'm going to compare it to a 2013 BMW 550i. Uh, very similar in horsepower, size, class. Perfect comparison. For the Tesla, the, the road trip took us a total of 8 hours and 50 minutes. This is real world driving, um, including all stops and charging and everything. Now, for a gas car, I didn't actually drive the BMW. So I'm going to use best estimates on everything. I'm giving the benefit of doubt to BMW that is going to get its mileage and all of that stuff. Um, so with that in mind, uh, the driving time according to Google would be 6 hours and 49 minutes. Um, I'm tacking on 45 minutes for uh, two meals and also for refilling the tank because the BMW can't make the whole trip on one tank of gas. And so, and also for the time uh, getting off the highway and getting back on. So that's 15 minutes per meal, five minutes for getting off and getting back on uh, for the two stops, which is in there 10 minutes, and then five minutes for uh, filling the tank. So 45 minutes. And um, so the difference, uh, the delta here between the Tesla and the gas car would be an hour and 15 minutes. Whether that's important to you or not, I guess that depends on the person. Um, personally for me, it's not if I'm on a trip that's that long an hour and 15 minutes doesn't make a large difference Now as far as cost of the trip uh, for the Tesla it would be nothing it would be free Because uh, the Tesla is free supercharging for life So you don't pay anything to use the superchargers and so the trip is completely free For the BMW you'd have to spend about $45 in gas um, Whether or not that's important is I mean Kind of yes, but kind of no. So if you're talking about cars in this price range, we're talking about 70, 80, $90,000 cars. Um, if you can afford one of these cars, the $45 in gas probably doesn't make a